Hello, my little makeup lovers, and thanks for coming back. I know I'm still in front of the Christmas tree, but when I'm actually filming this, it's December 31st, almost the new year. So the tree is up for a legitimate reason. So, um, but I'm just trying to get a little bit ahead on some of my videos, because hopefully, fingers crossed everybody, cross your fingers, hopefully by this weekend, uh, my boyfriend and I will be heading up north to spend about two and a half months up there. So again, um, I'm unfortunately off on disability. Believe me, in the reality of life, I'd rather be working than being off on disability, but the choice was taken away from me. Um, and second of all, um, my boyfriend has a seasonal job, so he doesn't go back to work until the end of March. So, like I said before, I think his family has a cabin up north that we go to. This will be my third time getting to go with him up north, and it is so relaxing. But I digress. So today is actually New Year's Eve. So today we are probably going to go out to dinner. We're not doing anything crazy. That's just not us. But um, I do, I know I'm in a sweatshirt right now, but I'm going to change and put something else on and all that good stuff. But Anya Stamper, Pink Sweets here on YouTube, who's my bestie here. Um, a little while ago, I had seen that Bretman Rock, is that right? Am I saying it right? Was going to do a collab with ColourPop. And I saw the red one and reds are just my thing. I think I've told you that before and I'll say it again. I love red eyeshadow, love it. So, when I saw there was gonna be a blue collection and a red collection, I had told Anya, I'm like, ooh, I really wanna get that red one, you know? So the sneaky little woman that she is, um, she had um, texted me through Instagram and she's like, now which one did you say you were gonna get? She goes, the blue one or the red one? I'm like, the red one. She goes, "Never mind, don't get it, cause I got it for you." So I was like, thank you, Anya. So she had sent that to me and originally that was gonna be my first ColourPop thing I'd ever gotten, but be, before I could get this from her, I had gotten to Ulta, and the Ulta where I'm at is starting to slowly but surely get some ColourPop stuff. So I've gotten a few things now, but today I'm going to play with Lit. Now this is the packaging it comes in, if anyone hasn't already seen it. I know people have been reviewing this all over the place. This is the back of it. Um, the shades are, oh, whatever, Mercy. Mashido, Clea Amor, She's Got Money, Peridot, Like and Batting. I have no clue what any of that stuff means, but it also has this glitter that does come off on your fingers, just letting you know. So if you do get this packaging, it is really pretty, but it will come off on your fingers somewhat. And there's also, there's Lit, which is this beautiful, and I like, I just even like the inside of it. It's just pretty on the inside, if you can see that. There we go. And then there's all the shades right there. And the other one is um, wet, and those are all blue, which also looks stunningly beautiful. So this is the packaging, this is the back of it. And I've been sort of just kind of swatching it and all that good stuff, and they're really beautiful shades beautiful colors. So I thought today we would play with this just a little bit. So I'm going to get my little mirror. Someday I'll get a big girl mirror and actually have a real mirror. Not probably going to be anytime really soon, but someday. So I am actually, um, all right, I, you know what? Why don't I finish one thing before I go to another? That is one of my bad things as I like to bubble all over the place. As my girlfriend and I used to say, we're like little squirrels. We just run all over the place and that's our thought process. So if you're a person who can keep up with my thought process, we could be friends. So, and Anya, bless her heart. <laughs> I knew she was gonna be my friend because she could keep up with my thought process. That seems to go, sorry, all over the place. So, okay. So I'm gonna go into, oh, whatever. And I'm gonna start putting that in my um, crease line. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but that is quite powdery. 
And I know people hate that because they want to use that for more eyeshadow, but I just blow it off. So I'm going to just put that down. And that is fairly pigmented. So, but again, I'm fairly pale. So for me, it is fairly pigmented. Anybody who's got a deeper skin tone, it might just sort of match their skin tone. So, but I'm just going to put this all in my crease line here. So I, um, I don't know if I've said this or not. I think I said this in my New Year's Eve one that I put out, but my um, niece-in-law, she um, got me a gift certificate to Ulta for um, $25, which I've had for all of a day and has already burned a hole in my pocket. So I had to go to Ulta to spend it. So, all right. Now I am going to go into Peridot with this one right here. And we're going to start building it up. Again, this is somewhat powdery. You can kind of see that. And I can't tell if there's shimmer in it or just it's coming off of Mercy or she's got money because there are some glitter shades that are right next to it there. So I went to Ulta today to spend my money. And I also knew that I needed to go there and see if I had any um, um, money from um, for when you go and you buy and you um, start getting points and you get it back as money. Because I think it runs out and I think it starts over again in the new year. So I didn't want to lose out on my points because, you know, that's money that you're throwing away if you don't get that. So yeah, I had like $15 in uh, points. So I uh, used that along with the gift card and I got, and now I'm taking what's left of it into my inner corner there. So uh, I took, uh, I got a Morphe sponge I got the contouring sponge this time. Before I got the, you know, um, splun sponge. I got the sponge. I got the sponge to put foundation down. And today I got the one that you can use to bake and contour and all that fancy stuff. Basically, it's got flat ends. So I used it to just put my um, concealer down today. So I don't bake. <laughs> What I do do sometimes is I take powder and I put it into my fine lines here around my smile lines and that kind of helps the foundation not get into your deeper lines that are on your face, I've noticed. So that's what I do. That's about as much baking as I do. I do not bake. I am... I do not bake at home and I do not bake on my face. So um, I just don't feel the need to. I think it ages me and I don't need to be aged by anything. So, all right, I'm going to use my Morphe 506 and I'm going to take um, some like because I like it. And let's build up the inner corner. Again, it's a little powdery. These are just a little powdery, but I think they're really great. They do bounce off some powder too. So, sorry, I'm trying to figure out which side. So they're just a little bit powdery, but that's all right. I do not mind. And these are some gorgeous colors. These are colors that are just right up my alley here, so. So I got a Morphe sponge. I bought some foundation that I am going to get to use for my uh, foundation day that I test out new foundations. And the foundation that I got is not new, new, but it's new and it's probably been out in the last six months or so. Um, it is a foundation that had a lot of controversy around it, so we'll talk about that. 
when I use it. But it was on sale. It's a foundation that, and I'm just gonna tell you guys this now. So if you wanna go to Ulta, Ulta is having some really good sales right now. So this foundation was regularly $39 and it was on sale for $19. So if you're thinking about, if you got a gift card to Ulta, maybe go online or go to an Ulta store and see you know, if any of the on-sale products uh, spark any interest to you. So I got a Morphe sponge, I got the um, foundation, and I got um, some Morphe um, eye primer, because I wanted to give that a test. So, and I'm using that today. So I will let you guys know how I like it so far. I don't mind it. It seems like the eyeshadows are going on it really nice. Um, I didn't have a powder, so I just applied the eyeshadow right on top of it. Normally I powder my concealer before I put um, eyeshadow down, but I didn't have any down here. So I went a la natural. All right, and now I'm just gonna blend. I'm not going to take this all the way up to my brows today. I'm gonna do something a little bit more natural. Not that red eyeshadow in any way, shape, or form is natural, but I'm just gonna keep it a little bit lower. All right, I am really liking this. Okay. So now, I think I'm gonna take some Mercy, which is right here, and I'm gonna take that on my finger. I am a finger person. If you don't like that, use a brush. But I just find that it works well for me. And that's about it. There's no other reason. I just think it works really well. It's basically like putting the eyeshadow on your brush and wetting it. But I do know it bothers some people to do that. So if it bothers you, just get your brush out and do it that way. And when I try to get to the inner corner, I do use a brush because it's too hard for me to get my finger in there. But for the middle part, that's what I do. And now I'm gonna take batting, batting, and I am going to get some on my brush and I am going to spray it. Oh yeah. And I bought some Morphe, Morphe. I bought some back setting spray. Did I need it? No. But did I get it? Yes. I really don't need a lot of setting sprays right now. I've got a lot of setting sprays still to get through. But... I thought, why not? I had the extra money and I wanted to use the whole gift card and, you know, not save like a dollar on it or something like that. So that is really pretty. It's this one here. This batting is like a pinkish gold, I'm noticing. So there's a lot of gold in it, but gold goes with red quite well. Alrighty, I'm liking that. I'm going to find my brush that I have a thousand of them down here. This is my Morphe 562 and I just like to use this more as a blending brush more than anything. And I'm just going to kind of blend this here. Actually, I'm going to take Oh Whatever and I'm going to use that to do a little bit of blending here. And I'm probably gonna end up now taking this all the way up to my brow, even though I said I wasn't going to do that. See, I think I need help. I can't control myself. I always blend too far, but there you go. Alrighty, so far, 
I'm really liking these eyeshadows. Also, I think they do a really nice job. They blend well. And they go well on top of each other. And the Morphe, the Morphe, yeah, the Morphe um, eye primer that I used, so far so good. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye off screen and I will come back and we will figure out what we're gonna do on the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna use some of the Mushido right here because I wanna use as many of these as I can just to kind of get an idea of what they're all like. So back and I am losing stuff, losing my mind and losing stuff. Okay, all right, here it is. I also bought, this is one of the things that I bought for myself for Christmas and I put it on one eye. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals and this is in volume. And I put that on that lash line. So I'm gonna do it on this lash line while I'm on camera with you guys. So you can see how I just put it here. And I'm gonna put this on instead of um, black mascara. So I just don't feel like black mascara. I meant black eyeliner. I am gonna put mascara down, silly Allison. Learn words. There, I just wanted to, as I get my eyelashes too. So it's just a subtle, I don't know if you can see it, but just some subtle um, eyeliner there. I also wanted to let you know, this Mercy does have some fallout to it. So I noticed that I had it over here on this side. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. There is fallout. So, all right. I swear, I could literally have all my brushes lined up surgically like a surgeon and I still would lose them because that's who I am. All right, I'm gonna use my Morphe 432 brush and I'm gonna go into Mashido, which is kind of this rich brown here. And we're gonna put that into the lower lash line. And I did get some fallout or some um, in the pan, but that's okay. I kind of did it on purpose. So I wasn't very gentle going in. So that's on me, not the product. And I'm just gonna stamp this kind of, kind of carelessly into the lower lash line because I'm gonna blend this out. really quickly here because I think I'm taking way too long in these videos. Oh, when I was out and about, and even this is having some fallout too, I'm noticing on my cheek here. I uh, ran into an old classmate from high school it's so weird when you do that, you know, because way more than enough time has passed by that we all have changed quite a bit. So, um, but I walked right by him and it wasn't that I didn't per se recognize him once he said my name, but you know how you're like focused on what you're doing. So you're not really always paying attention to the people around you. Because the minute he said my name, he's like, Allison. And I turned and I looked and I just looked at him for like a brief second, like two seconds. And I was like, oh, hi, Mike, you know? So I did recognize him. He isn't unrecognizable, but. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna go back into like, because I like, like it a lot. Was that bad? Did I embarrass you guys? I'm so sorry. So, but, um, I have run into old classmates where I just do not recognize them at all. And I hate to say that, but enough time has passed in our lives where they are unrecognizable to me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say any names because with my luck, they'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. But, um, 
most of them are the women. Women, unfortunately, we change a lot, you know. And sometimes, depending on what's happened to us, you know, life isn't always good to everybody. So, you know, a lot of people can have harder lives. I've had a lot of um, surgeries and stuff like that, but for the most part, and this is just me talking, and maybe someday, if you guys want, I'll put up a picture of me in high school so you guys can tell me how much you guys think I've changed. But um, I don't think, I mean, I've changed. I've gotten older. We all have. That's just life. You get older. Um, okay. I am going to use a little bit more of batting. I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Do, 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 do. Again, 900 brushes sitting next to me, but can I find the one I want? No. You know, I think as women, we change more so than men. And that's just the unfortunateness of getting older. But, uh, although sometimes men can lose their hair and they get these paunches and yeah, they can change too. I'm gonna just put that in the inner corner and dub that down some. But yes, he wasn't unrecognizable to me, so that was good. So I talked to him for a few minutes. We talked about, you know, how, you know, he's done. I can tell he had, I don't know what happened to him, but I can tell that he has been in an accident because he was walking very, he was having a hard time walking and moving his arm. So I don't know. I'm gonna use some black eyeliner from Urban Decay. I don't know what happened to him. But to me, that just shows what time in life can do to you, you know? In high school and whatnot, I was the, I don't wanna say I was the crippled girl because I don't wanna ever, you know, if somebody's out there with some health issues, I don't wanna act like I'm, you know, making fun, but I was, you know. I do walk with a limp. It's quite noticeable. So I was the one with more of the health issues that, and I'll be honest with most guys didn't want to date. They wanted to date the perfect girl that walked in the perfect hills and the perfect whatnot. So I wasn't the most popular that way. I also didn't sleep or with the guys. And let me tell you, you don't sleep around. Guys don't like you that much especially in high school. So, all right, I'm gonna put my mascara on off camera because that's boring to watch. And then we're gonna spray, well, we're gonna put some highlight and lipstick on. Okay, I'll be guys, this is the look right now. One more thing is I put some lip liner on, which I used um, the LA Girl lip liner in burgundy. So now let us find a lipstick. I have like 12 sitting here. Um, I have my red on, so I don't think pink or orange is a look I'm gonna go for. I have a brown. Or we have this one that Anya sent me. I have this one. You know what, let me try this one. This is from Broadway, which you wouldn't think they would have good products because this is at the dollar store, but let me see something here. Let's get a little bit of this on. I'm gonna put some shine to it. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of this NYX on. And that 
is my finished look using the Lit from ColourPop. I think this is a good little product. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you get this. Um, you must like reds though. They've got some good reds. There's a little fallout, but I don't think it's horrible by any means. I think there are a lot worse products that fall out a lot worse that cost a lot more than this. I think this is a cute little packaging. It's got a good little magnet. And I think this is nice and travel friendly. And I think you can get a couple of cute looks. Again, they're gonna be reds, browns, and some yellows. But I think you could do a simple little look or you could do a fancier look. And nice and travel friendly. Again, this glitter stuff kind of comes off, but whatever, it's not a big deal. So, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the look I came up with. I actually do. And um, yeah, so hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.